This is the monetary policy statement for June 2012. Inflation declined in May 2012 for the seventh consecutive month. Annual headline inflation fell 18.6% from 20% in April, while core inflation fell 21% from 22.8% in April. Since the start of this year, the monthly inflation rates indicate that inflation, inflation pressures in the economy have been reduced markedly compared to the last half of 2011. Monthly headline inflation averaged only 0.8% during January to May 2012, compared to an average of 2.2% um, per month in the final month of 2011. The decline in monthly core inflation has been even more notable. Monthly core inflation averaged only 0.3% during January to May 2012, compared to 2.6% in the Final month, final five months of 2011. Monthly non food inflation has also started, has also been subdued since the start of 2012, averaging only 0.6% compared to 2.6% in the um, the previous five months. It is now clear that this, that this inflationary momentum in the economy has solidified. I think I should repeat that. It is now perfectly clear that the disinflationary momentum in the economy has solidified, providing further evidence of the effectiveness of the tight monetary stance pursued by the Bank of Uganda. However, on the downside, real economic activity has stagnated in 2011-2012 mainly because of subdued domestic and external demand. This month, the Ugandan Bureau of Statistics has forecast that real GDP growth for 2011-2012 is now growing at 3.2% which is below the economy's potential sustainable growth rate of 6-7%. Also, the global economy remains a significant source of risk for the Ugandan economy. In particular, there is the possibility that the problems in the euro area could trigger turbulence 
in the global financial markets. This, in turn, could have adverse effects on the exchange rate in Uganda, as well as in other frontier markets. Although the Bank of Uganda does not target a specific <coughs> exchange rate, I want to assure you that the bank will act decisively to avoid disruptive shocks to the exchange rate emanating from volatile short-term capital flows. The short to medium term prospects for inflation have improved significantly since the last monetary policy statement, especially because the May data <coughs> confirms that this, this that these inflational trends are taking root in the economy. This has strengthened the Bank of Uganda's confidence that core inflation will be reduced single digits by the end of 2012. And that core inflation will fall further in, 19, in, in 2013. The policy priorities of the Bank of Uganda are to maintain the disinflationary momentum to ensure that core inflation can be reduced to the target rate of growth of 5%, target rate of inflation of 5% by mid 2013, while at the same time allowing the scope for a recovery <coughs> of aggregate demand growth to push real GDP growth back to um, its potential growth rate in 2012 2013. Boosting real GDP growth will require a resumption of private sector credit growth through a gradual reduction of interest rates over the next six, 12 months. <clears throat> the Bank of Uganda hopes that moderate, moderate rates of bank credit growth can be achieved in 2013 and that this will be consistent with continued disinflation and stronger output growth. Given the above, Bank of Uganda believes that it, that it is opportune to ease monetary policy slightly and will therefore reduce the central bank rate by one percentage point to 20% in June 2013 after keeping it constant for three months, for the last three months. The ban on the CBR will remain at plus or minus three percentage points, and the margin on the rediscount rate will remain at four percentage points 
to the CBL. The rediscount rate and the bank rate will remain at 25% and 26% respectively in June 2012.